Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome to 3304. This is where I take a look at the news and happenings in and around Elite Dangerous. This week, a second Thargoid scout has been located, and the aliens are also beginning to hyperdict players inside the bubble. A fan-made blueprint is available of the Type 10 Defender, and Frontier hint at the arrival of a new series of ships. Here we are then, with the first news episode of 2018, and whilst this isn't my first video of this year, I'd nonetheless like to take this opportunity to say Happy New Year to everyone. There's plenty of content for 2018, both on my YouTube channel, as well as in the game itself, and if you haven't checked out my What's Coming in 2018 video, then I'll link that in the video description below. It'll give you a rundown of most of the content that we know about so far for this year. Talking of which, Friday's newsletter happened to mention something very, very briefly about the upcoming content. They mentioned that they're really excited for the new year, and they're looking forward to starting sharing what's to come in the first quarter update of Beyond. Now that section of the newsletter had something very interesting to say, albeit extremely vague. They happened to be discussing the release of the Type 10 Defender, and then went on to say over the coming year, a whole series of new ships will be ready for takeoff. Now, so far this year, we do know that the Chieftain as well as the Crate are coming, but we don't know about anything else, although Frontier have mentioned that there should be more ships along the way, including a new range of ships for the Alliance. They also stated that over the coming weeks, they'll be sharing more information on Beyond in their live streams. This Saturday, just gone, 6th of January, Wing Atlantis made a rather amazing discovery. It was a second Thargoid scout ship, now you may remember that the scout ship is an alien vessel that was found crashed on one of the planets. It's actually Thargoid in appearance and Thargoid in origin. However, it's much smaller than the Cyclops and other variants we've seen in space so far. This second ship was also found crashed on a planetary service. And you may remember a brief glimpse of this from a video with David Braben during the 24 hour live stream. The ship was located thanks to a Commander Tonio who is a Wingham... Uh, the ship was located thanks to a Commander Tonio, who is a member of Wing Atlantis as well as Canon. Using footage from the short video clip, the correct planet and system was located by using the three bright stars as a reference. The specific coordinates on the planet were located by exploring the planet by each degree of latitude. So a great find then, and quite a lot of work as well. Now Frontier have mentioned that in the future, it will be possible to make such discoveries by using in-game tools as well as in-game information, both of which are planned for the Quarter 4 update of Beyond. A number of reports have been posted around the internet that Thargoids have apparently begun interdicting players within inhabited space, specifically around the location of the current ongoing community goal. As commanders have been moving from system to system to bring various commodities to the desired destination, they have found that, on occasion, they are being hyperdicted on a jump into a new system. Whilst hyperdictions within the bubble are not new, they have, up until this point, been extremely rare. Speculation is rife then that at some point in the not too distant future, Thargoids may start attacking stations far closer to home. A new expedition is being planned for the destination of Colonia, a second inhabited area of space that is well over 20,000 light years away from Earth. What makes this expedition somewhat different is that it is being undertaken to show support to Commander Dove Enigma and his fight against cancer. Starting at Jackson's Lighthouse, the expedition will begin on the 12th of January in the Fleetcom private group. To join the group, simply search for Fleetcom under the Groups menu in the main menu from the game. The expedition is open to all players, both new and old, and so would be a great opportunity for your first long distance exploration trip. The journey will be comprised of 15 waypoints, and will highlight some fantastic sights along the way. The final destination is a new megaship in Colonia named Dove Enigma, which Frontier have kindly named after Commander Dove Enigma himself. If you are interested in this expedition, then do check out the link in the video description below, where you will find all the information you need. The unofficial Elite Dangerous blog is a great place to find all manner of information about the game, but it is also famed quite rightly for its fantastic ship blueprints. A new blueprint is now available of the Type 10 Defender, and the authors of the blog state that the Type 10 is actually one of the most detailed ships in the game so far. The blueprint, which you can see on the screen, is available from their website and comes in a number of resolutions, including a great quality 4K image. 
Iridium Winger is currently looking for new clients and new recruits. Now, if you've never heard of Iridium Ring before, they're actually one of the most famous groups out there, and perhaps in many respects offer one of the most important services out there. Their goal is to safeguard explorers and their data in high-risk situations, which basically means as you've been out on your long-range exploration trip and you're on your way back to the bubble or colonia, then Iridium Wing will escort you back to a secure station. The escort also comes fully armed with capable PvP fighters, and the service is also entirely free of charge. Iridium Wing are available on PC, Xbox as well as PlayStation 4, so if it's a service you're interested in or something you'd like to help out with, then do check out the links in the video description below where you can find out a whole bunch of more information. So then, that brings us to an end of the first episode of 3304. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.